their art tip for some of you. So today we're going to talk about the male torso. Uh, the next one we do, we'll talk about the female torso. So let's just look at it from the front view. So if we come up over here, we I think we've done a little bit of the chest. So we'll draw the chest out real quick. You have your collarbone. Here's your collarbone. We all have it. Up in here, we come in with our chest. Right. This is the lazy W that we talk about. Remember, this collarbone goes into the shoulder, right? Continues to go into the shoulder. <clears throat> and then this is where the shoulder goes, and we talked about how we split the bicep. But we're not, we're not going to worry about the arms today. We're just going to worry about the rest, the rest of the body here. So if I go a little bit bigger here. So, so we now have the pecs, right? So here, here's the pecs right here. We can go a little bit shadowy up in here. And now we've got to draw the rest of it. Well, uh, you just construct it a little bit. What, what we have right here is we have an esophagus, but more importantly, we have the rib cage, right? So the rib cage goes up in here. And again, it, you know, look at, look at, let's just make it an easy one. It's almost like a W, right? So here's, here's the rib cage. It's essentially this line, a little more dramatic, you, right? You're going to put, you're going to put some big rib cages on here. You make it a little bit sort of long on the drawings there. So we'll cut out some of the lines here so I don't confuse you. But now that we get here, then we want to also add then the six pack, right? But here's what I wouldn't here's what I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend that you guys do sort of a true six pack like that. I think it's a little bit sort of cliche and it looks a little goofy. So there's a couple different ways you can do the gut muscles. One is you can just go sideways with them, not worried about making like this. So continue this line here, dot, 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 and then just come up in here and just make something like this. And if you just make it, and again, you don't have to get too sort of crazy with it, and you've got your muscle up in here. The other way, if you don't want to go sideways with it, and again, don't make uh, big cliches with it, then I'll get rid of this real quick. And the other way of doing it is you just extend and you just come in here and you just make almost like a funnel, right? And then you can put some up in here. And now, and now you got sort of a bit of a funnel. This can be a little bit more natural. The reason you want the funnel is because if we continue the funnel, then you're going to come on here and you're going to get the groin, right? So if this is the groin area up in here. Let's, let's go up in here. Here's the groin here. All this sort of connects, right? So again, this line connects up in here, and then we have to now come in here and go, we've got the pecs. The pecs are basically the muscles that you flare out when you're sort of doing something and acting like a He-Man. These are the ones that are going to get a little bit of a shadow underneath here uh, because you've got your arms in there, right? So you've got your rib cage, you've got your pecs. The pecs are going to come in here a little bit. Cut some more lines here. And then you're going to come in and you're going to start straightening out the body. You don't want it to be too much of a V. Uh, and now you come in here and then you get a little bit of a round muscle in here. And this connects back into the groin. This goes a little bit round and it connects back into the groin. And, and here's why this is important. is because these muscles right here are the ones that when people say, Ah, you got love muscles. These are the ones you're talking about. They're the ones right here. And as you get older, they have a tendency to sort of get a little bit wider on you, but, 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 but right up in here. But that's the muscles, and those muscles go into the groin. And the reason that's important, because we're going to do another drawing uh, another day, where it makes it easy now to connect the legs, right? Because you have the groin area, and then you have your abdomen, and then you have your rib cage, and then you have your pectorals, which is your chest, your chest, your ribs your stomach, and then your groin, right? And now, once you've got those pieces, let me add another one here. I'll go, I'll, I'll go in color now, and I'll show you then how you can sort of uh, break all this down. So now that we've got this, then we know, oh, here's the gut. So now we know this is where the belt goes, right? If you're doing Superman or Batman or whoever else. This is where the belt goes. Why? Because we all know that it goes right, right below where our belly button is. And then... If you're doing Superman, then here's his shorts, right? And here's how his shorts go, and his shorts are right in here. Why? Because it goes to the bottom of the groin. So, so you can get to a lot of the places very quickly. And then again, you get, you get your, your what we call our V, 
right? Here's our V up in here. And then you've got your big chest, and then if we want to on the Superman, we can do the big the big S and his diamond cut. And, and we get it we get in here. And then it makes it easier now if I go back to black. Uh, and I cut in here, this is where I would then start adding some of the, the detail to give me a couple of nice lines so that all this stuff, you know, I'd wrinkle, the, I'd wrinkle, obviously, the pants. I'd get some shadows on it and stuff. But then you can start to add a couple more lines in here. And you can get to, you can get to a torso fairly quickly, right? So we come down here, and again, we're not going to talk about the legs, but as you can see, if I shrink this down, it's 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 fairly convincing. Let me go here, show you from from the front here. It's a fairly convincing torso. Fairly, you know. So you got a you got a lazy W, another sort of more dramatic W for the rib cage. You just get this funnel start to happen in here, so you get into your into your uh, uh, muscle stomach muscles. Make sure that your your pecs here continue down in here and they come down into your groin, right? Come down into the groin. Again, there's all these sort of round connecting and then you have your other muscles up in here. So if I take that off again, you're going to see it all there. Anyways, practice it a bit. We'll do uh, some female versions of that and then I'll show you from the profile on another day. Hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, we'll try and keep it simple for everybody. Thanks. Bye.